George, George, George of the jungle, strong as he can be. Watch out for that tree! George, George, George of the jungle, lives a life that's free. Watch out for that tree! When he gets in a scrape, he makes his escape with the help of his friend. An ape named ape, then away he'll schlep on his elephant Shep, Magnolia, and Ursula stay in step. It's a beautiful morning in the jungle as its inhabitants wait to face another day of fighting for their very survival. Hey, get off me! We had a deal, Bernard! Oh, oh! That's how it's gonna be! Fine! Is your spleen ticklish? Huh? <laughs> okay, Magnolia, get it together. You're living the dream. Nothing like the life of a jungle scientist. <laughs> nope. Nope. No. -uh. Two weeks in a row. Oh. <laughs> You can do this. You're tough. You're ready. You're a jungle scientist. You're Magnolia! Why? Why does everything here hate me so much? Oh. Mmm. <gasps> Thank you, Patrick. Ugly <laughs> <laughs> devil. Oh. We'd love to. Life good here. You said it, George. <laughs> Magnolia, please have nice time too. Bernard, <laughs> that's me. Are you okay, Magnolia? I don't belong here. No one belong in Snake. No, I mean you all belong in the jungle. I don't. I'm just a science geek in bad cargo shorts. Even the quicksand has it out for me. No, you part of jungle, just like us. Indeed. All you need is a little cheering up. What I need is to go back to my tent, have a cry, and write my resignation letter. Hey, right. We take you for super cheer up jungle fun trip. I really don't want to. Do it. How did you? Don't worry about that. We're here for fun. Cannonball! Wait! <laughs> that pond's full of piranha! <laughs> <laughs> it okay, Magnolia. Piranha good pals. See, we all jungle friends. Well, okay then. We forget they like foreign food. Mmm, oh. tasty lunch. Dig in, Magnolia. They're organic and free range. Have these ever been tested? I mean, how do you know if they're safe to eat? Mm. Oh, George eat them city with Tiny George. Mm. No problem. And we apes have enjoyed burger trees for generations. Okay. Mm. You guys are right! It's the little... How were you to know you were allergic? I should have guessed! Great! What's this? Some secret I'm not jungle enough to know? 
Yes! I mean, no! No, 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 no secret. We were just discussing what fun place to go next. Yes! Come now! Come! This is dumb. I should just go... <laughs> hey, wait! I've never been to this part of the jungle before. Hey! I, I don't know where I am! <laughs> oh, poop. Great! Just one more reason why I don't belong here. Even my so-called friends forgot about me. I'll go back to my tent and then back to the city. Which way is my tent? That way? Uh, uh oh, maybe through there. No, no, it, it's got to be past that tree. Huh. What's he looking at? And whatever it is, must be delicious. It's me, isn't it? I'm delicious. <laughs> okay, okay. I know we went south this morning, so my tent has to be north. Okay, Lucky Compass, don't fail me. No! no! North! North! How do I find North? And... You're a magnet! Ha! North! Ah! Why is my life so hard? There's got to be a way across. Use those degrees, Magnolia. If I pluck a feather from that bird, it'll squawk and wake up that snake, which will push over that rock, which will roll and knock over that tree, then domino those trees and make a bridge across the chasm. Yes! I knew Jungle Physics 202 wasn't a waste! Come on! It's not rocket science! <laughs> I get either, buddy, but it's the only way. Where's your spleen? Yes! Ha! Take that! What you gonna do now, pussycat, huh? Fly! <laughs> Just go log to log. You can do this. Oh my gosh, the teeth! How can I tell the logs from the crocodiles? Oh, I hate you, evolution! Uh, 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 aha! My piggies are so blistered, I bet I can feel the difference. Log, log, croc! Log, croc, croc, croc! Log, log! Because tigers never give up the hunt. They're jerks like that. Ape? You've been here the whole time, you fuzzy little... Ah! What? Oh. Oh! I get it. This is where I go nuts from being alone and starving in a cave for a month. <laughs> Maybe crazy only way survive. <laughs> Not stupid, smart! You smart to hide in here. Except you not notice jungle vending machine. That's kinda dumb. Magnolia smart about science and jungle. So use brain thinky thing one more time to beat Tiger. Me believe in you. What do you know? You're just a pile of <laughs> rotten coconuts. But maybe, maybe you're right. What kind of jungle scientist would I be if I let this jungle beat me? It's go time!
time, baby. you with a little celebration of your jungle anniversary. But you forgot me in the jungle! We just needed a little time to set up your surprise party. I was lost for six months! Yeah, we think that's strange too, especially since we only lose you over there. And left you a map, food, and an arrow pointing this way. But wow! You survive alone for six months? You as jungle as us for sure. <laughs> Let's put that to the test. But run! <laughs> George may be king of the jungle. But he's definitely not king of ideas. What's wrong, George? Uh, George needs stop Jerk Eagle from eating cute meerkats. Every time George turn away, Eagle... Hey, Jerk Eagle! What George do to save meerkats? Remember when those jungle pigeons wouldn't stay off my tent? I made a scarecrow to keep them away. If anything, more pigeons came to laugh at it. So whatever you do, don't do... Hey! George C. <laughs> oh, you didn't hear what I said. Good idea, Magnolia. <laughs> George not know how you do it. Is that how you see me? Ursula, George need help. How George get baby Lever across river and home to family? Duh, use canoe. Or raft! Or bridge! Ah! <laughs> Good idea, Ursula. Um, which one? Thank you, Ursula! Oh. Uh, hello? What George do now? George, you can't rely on other people for ideas. You need to come up with them yourself. Ah. Huh? George, an antelope is stranded on that high ledge. <gasps> Antelope in danger! Indeed! Quick, what do you do? Um, uh, George ask Ape for idea. But I've been eaten by a crocodile. What? <laughs> George cry because he missed Ape. But the antelope still needs your help. George. Yes? Ask Ursula. Oh, you can't. She's... Return to her home planet. <laughs> George's world collapsed. What if there's no one to ask? What if you have to come up with an idea by yourself? <laughs> now you never leave George, and he always has someone to ask what to do. George, you're missing the point. <laughs> Ursula Matt, take it out on Magnolia! What? Why? Why? Ah! George wanna help Magnolia, but George lousy at ideas. Apparently so, though I've never noticed it in any other episode. Hmm. <gasps> what a coincidence! This is an idea rock. If you find yourself wondering what to do, just ask it for ideas. Oh. Idea rock have name? Um, sure. It's Presley. Okay. Hey, Presley, what George do? Ooh, Presley's smart. He say, whoa. <laughs> yes, that's a good idea. I'll do that. Um, Ape okay? Ape's fine. He just has a bunch of to-dos. To-do. Ape! Um, what ape doing? 
Maybe George help? Doing? I'm not doing anything. With that, Presley? Yep. Ape definitely doing something. Relax, George. Slow down. Grab a tree and dangle. Yeah. You should hang upside down for a while. It's so amazing. Magnolia, why you hate Treehouse too? We no hate Treehouse. We no hate anything. Ursula, you no angry. Ursula never angry, see? Big smile, yay! No thanks, Presley, me not thirsty. George need to get to bottom of strange mystery. George said he not thirsty. Fine, you very pushy for rock. Ape! Invisible sloth on shoulder! Look through glassy backwash! Mmm, thank you, God. Delicious. See you later. We have to bounce. What George do? Presley, George needs save friends idea real bad. Okay, if Presley insist. <laughs> there they go with invisible shoulder slots. What they building? Ooh, that good question too, Presley. Holy rock bananas! <laughs> Excellent, my sloth chums. Soon we shall dominate this planet like we dominate afternoon naps. Okay, Presley. George hazy on details, but bit about Earth domination sound bad. What? Where? George, stop evil sloth! But how? Are uh, you sure, Presley? Okay, if you say so. Whoa! Yeah, <laughs> great idea, Presley! <laughs> uh, oh, man! Where's my dynamite? Where to go? George, never tell. Oh, no! Now you've done it! We're doomed! Game over, man! That's right! George and Presley save Earth from evil slobs! Now, man, when I say we're doomed, I mean you and me, not them. I was trying to stop all this. Uh, George and Presley no understand. You do flashback? <sighs> Fine. My name is Slothocles. And like all sloths, I'm not from your world. We sloths come from another slower dimension, man. I arrived here many years ago with a sloth scout team. We were sent to discover your weaknesses, but instead fell in love with your world. Specifically, your fudge. This is the only dimension that contains the glory that is fudge, man. Instead of completing our mission, we decided to make Earth our new home. I hope the rest of our evil race would forget about us. But that was not meant to be. My people have enslaved your friends with their sloth powers of suggestion. Wait, how come evil sloth's invisible and you not? We sloths use an advanced mind-phasing technique to turn invisible at will. But I'm too lazy. Oh, and it's easily neutralized by backwash. This is also the only dimension with backwash technology, man. Um, George, could I borrow those goggles? It'll just make things easier for everyone. Sure thing, Sky Voice. Much better. That's a time break. When it's yanked, it'll slow time to match the sloth dimension. Then sloths will be the fastest things on this planet, man. When the sloth army comes through the portal, we'll subdue this world in the blink of an eye. I was gonna blow that thing sky high, but someone ate my explosives. Presley, how to save everyone? George, need idea, quick. Hmm, uh-huh. Oh yeah, oh I see, okay. Sure hope it worked. Good luck. George really hoping that do it. Yes! Get him, get Go him, George! get him. <laughs> Presley, what plan B? George, watch out for the sloth! I am the sloth commander. 
but you may call me Peanut. Listen and do my bidding, ape man. You are powerless to resist. Whatever Peanut say, George do. <sighs> there goes the neighborhood, man. The whole dimension, really. Who better to pull the time break than the king of the jungle? This planet is ours. No. No. George, make own idea. That's likely. You failed at it this entire episode. Yes! What? Uh, wind blow you off! You have to go into hyperspeed to knock me loose. Look out! Uh, huh? George, free! Get, Get him! him. Get him. Must stop him! Get him! Must stop if slots want time to slow down, maybe better idea <gasps> to speed up. Uh, where did all these slots come from? No, my invasion. Cheer up! Have some fudge! Mmm, this is really good. I know, right? Now get lost! No! I want more fudge! George, you single-handedly saved us from sloth domination. I knew you had good ideas. Ah, uh, George not do much. Sloth McLees and Presley have all good ideas. All I did was ask you to stop him. And Presley is just a stone. I only pretended it was an idea rock to boost your confidence. George learned an important lesson today. He learned... Uh, oh, hold on. Uh, George, get it. Um, uh, water wet? No, George learned that yesterday. Um, ooh, fire hot. Oh, no. Maybe I should find a planet where I'm more appreciated. Folks used to respect their predators. that out of all the pebbles in the jungle, he found you. <laughs> What's that? Pebble needs an <laughs> It looks like your tongue is glued to the top of your mouth. This is why you shouldn't mix peanut butter with spider webs. Okay, hold still. I'm just gonna give a gentle tug. One, two, three. Uh, 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 
Ah, sorry, Tookie. George. Thwack. Hey, guys. Neat tie, Tookie. Thwack. George, stop doing that. You mean this? Thwack. Yes, that. Woo, little sensitive, hey, Tookie? Thwack. Ah! Oh, Bubble! Ah! <laughs> I can't get a break. Looks like things are gonna change around here for this mouse. Pebble! 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 Where are you? George! We brought a few things you could maybe use as a substitute until you find your rock. We got you, golf ball. The end of an old banana, a smushed up piece of tin foil, and Ralph the Slug who volunteered. Take your pick. Oh, okay. I choose tin foil. <laughs> George misses Thwok. Hey, it fits. George, someone's in danger. George can't help. George is useless without Pebble. It's a man-eating plan, not true eating. Everything fine. George going home now. I don't think that plan cares about that right now. Quick, use that new golf ball belly button pal or friend or whatever. <laughs> <sighs> George told you he couldn't do it without Pebble. Just throw it already. George is nothing. Uh, little help here, please. Can you describe Pebble? Hmm, round. Oh, uh, and gray. Yeah. Uh, oh, did George say round? Is this your missing stone? That's him! <laughs> What's with the tiptoeing, George? Well, George just being extra careful. You know, you don't want to get into any danger without Pebble. You were acting like a big nutty banana. <laughs> George still same George. <laughs> ah, get off! Get off! Get off! Get off! <laughs> Pebble, come back. Pebble! Pebble, where are you? Did you see Pebble? <laughs> Down here, George. <gasps> I found a comfier navel, George. Goodbye. <laughs> Forever! Swat! 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 You're mine! <laughs> mine! Mine! George has to find Pebble! George, I really am sorry you lost your stone. So, I want to give you something very special to me. This is my lucky gutkerchief. I've had it since I was just a small ape and, uh... Thanks. George does feel a bit better. George, I changed my mind. I need it back right now. Uh, but it said right now. <laughs> Tomorrow, I'll help you find that stone. Pebble, Pebble, George brought you 
your favorite treat! <gasps> Is this it, George? <laughs> Pebble not that fat. Yeah! Run for your lives! <gasps> What's wrong? It's horrible! Horrible? Evil! Evil? Scary! <laughs> Scary? Yeah! George, we have to go investigate this. Uh, busy! Picking leaves, you know. Busy, busy, busy. <laughs> George, the jungle needs you. <laughs> okay, but ape go first. <laughs> <laughs> Who's laughing now, funny boy? <laughs> Pebble! Give back Pebble! His name is Rocky, and he's mine! Oh, Rocky! Oh, okay, that's not even clever! Hey, if you want a piece of fight cake, I'm your baker man! But I'm warning you, Rocky and I are a pretty tough team! <laughs> Oh! George, are you gonna let that mouse just take Pebble? Well, kind of. <sighs> Poor Pebble, wedged into that tiny navel. No satisfying. Walk, 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 walk. George wants Pebble. Ooh, I'm scared. <laughs> ah! Too scared to come out here? Not me, because I have Racky! George? <sighs> Is it valuable lesson time? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, actually, yes. I think you see now that you don't need to rely on anything other than yourself for confidence. Yeah. I'm proud of you, George. Nighty night, nose blowing buddy. <laughs> George, give me back my gutter cheek. a story of a lifelong friendship. <laughs> of a bond stronger than any other in nature. <laughs> it is the story of a boy and his, uh, dog? George, we have to talk about Shep. He is out of control. He needs discipline. No, Ape should be more careful. Right, buddy? Good doggy. George, in case you haven't noticed, he's an elephant. <laughs> Shep, an elephant. It's no fun being around him anymore. <laughs> You hurt Shep's feelings. He doesn't tell Ape to stop being smart or Ursula to stop being Ursula. E? Well, maybe we were a little hard on him. And second thought. Thank <laughs> you. 
Steady, Lawrence. Focus. Dr. Toots, I thought I recognized your handiwork. Why, Dr. Towel Scott? It's been a long time. Everyone, Dr. Toots is a behavioral scientist known as the Elephant Whisperer. Did you hear that, George? Dr. Toots trains elephants. Oh, <laughs> George already trained Chef. <laughs> Hmm. This elephant is unruly, disobedient, and in desperate need of a bubble bath. Obviously, this is a cry for help. I shall train him. Hip hip! Hooray! Today we embark upon my patented elephant obedience training course, using only my whistle and a cookie. <laughs> I will mold him into a well-mannered pet, culminating in a formal dinner with visiting dignitaries, where Shep will demonstrate his knowledge of fine food and... Yeah! Cookies! <laughs> <laughs> now, Shep, one toot means stop on a dime. This time, to be specific! Ooh! Shiny! George gave you 50 cents for it. George, please listen carefully, as you will be the one blowing the whistle when the training is complete. Look at me. <laughs> I've got a cookie. <laughs> oh, yes, I'll also be using a large pane of shatterproof glass to reinforce the lesson. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, others. <clears throat> Not long ago, a very special pachyderm set out to better himself and maybe even have a little fun. Right, Master Shep? <laughs> Firstly, I'd like to present George with his official Dr. Toots whistle. Ooh, neat! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Goal achieved! Well, I'm off. <laughs> <laughs> That woman says a ton on plain fare. Too slow. Too fast. <sighs> George can get used to that. Mm, Shep is like a different animal. Wait till Ape sees this. The best part is how much Jeff loves it. Right, buddy? George would whistle for you to fetch your whistle, but George doesn't have your whistle. Whistle! Whistle! Yes, sir. One bowl of trunk a munch coming up. Mm, good. 
You can taste all three kinds of liver. <laughs> yes, sir. One jungle wedgie coming up. Okay, George, enough goofing around. Ow! Yes, sir. George, I think I know what's going on here. Ship has your whistle and is training you. <gasps> oh. to untrain them. No. This is day one of disobedience school. Using a cookie and no whistles of any kind, we shall return you both into the ill-mannered, rough-housing wild things we know you are. Ah! <laughs> 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 And so, it is with great pomp and circumstance that I, ape, bestow upon you, George and Shep, these diplomas, proclaiming each of you disobedient in the extreme. <laughs> <laughs> Thank the tiki gods that's over. Well, Shep, old pal, can we just get back to being a boy and his big gray? <laughs> ah, good. We are back. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah! Ah, <laughs> 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 of the jungle strong as he can be <laughs> watch out for that tree george 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 of the jungle lives a life that's free watch out for that tree when he gets in the scrape he makes his escape with the help of his friend and ain't big big then away he'll schlep on his elephant chef magnolia and ursula stay in step george 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 of the jungle friend to you and me Desperate figures run for their lives, carrying with them the jungle's final and only hope. Ah! How did it come to this? No, seriously, I'd like to know. Can can we do a flashback or something? Sweet, thanks. Oh, potato fizzy legs. Got it. Just one more. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty bacon hairbrush. That's enough for the day. We'll finish my jungle taste report tomorrow. Oh, all licking and no eating makes George hungry. Me too. Hmm. What to eat, what to eat, what to eat. Mystery berries. <laughs> Meh, head for breakfast. 
squash and beans? That for lunch. Wounded zebra! That's a good friend! Hey, what's that convenient noise? What's the big deal? It's just a dumb banana tree. Ooh. Ah, forgive them! Don't you know how important bananas are to all ape kind? This film will show you the delicious world of bananas. Warning, you will get wet. From your own drool. <laughs> Seriously, though, pay attention. Bananas, our most precious resource and our yummiest friend. Bananas. Like apes, no two bananas are the same. Bananas were first discovered at the sacred banana mating ground. Let's explore the three reasons we must protect these wonderful yellow mouth ticklers. Reason one, bananas are delicious. Eat them for breakfast, lunch, dinner, midnight snack, brunch, 11 Z's, tea time, supper, dejeuner, hypoglycemic snacks, regular snacks, post snack snack snacks, pre-dinner, post-lunch, pre-snack snack, post-lunch, the second reason bananas are our most precious resource, they're not just for eating. You can use bananas as antiperspirant. Distress beacons. Uh, loyal and fun pets. Nothing says I love you like a banana. And the third reason bananas are so important, they're just so darn banana-y. <laughs> Every time. We never knew. That banana's so amazing. It's bananas! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Glad you finally understand what bananas mean to us apes. <laughs> Maybe we should try it with more bananas! Hmm. I call it the Thought Doer! Know what George thought doing right now? <laughs> You're taking things a little far. Wasting them now. Bananas can run out, you know. Ape, I'm a scientist. Natural resources can't run out. It's impossible. Uh, uh, what happened? I think we ate too many bananas. <gasps> Just bones left. <sighs> <gasps> What have you done? You used up all the bananas? All except for two? Oh, man, did we? But no biggie. There's other stuff to eat. You don't understand. <laughs> it begins. Bananium found in every banana are ancient monster genes. Take control. Just slowly and quietly. Run! Oh my god! Oh my god! What are we gonna do? There's only one solution. You must. Oh no. Uh, it's okay. Run. Run for your lives. <laughs> <laughs> must fix 
ape and save jungle. But there's only two bananas left. Okay, think, think, think. What do we do? Hmm. Yes? How ants remember all other ants' names? Oh, George would be terrible ant. Uh, wait, what question? Okay, okay. Is there another source of bananium? Hmm, maybe oranges? Those are full of orangium. Uh, it's totally different. What if we disguise the bananas as us and us as the bananas? Yes, then apes chase bananas and eat us instead. It's not gonna work. If we get more bananas, apes turn all huggable and not be fighting anymore. But how? Do I look like a banana magician? Like I do banana magic? Ooh, abracadabra. Spell no work, you terrible banana magician. I've got it. We'll use science to save the bananas from extinction and rescue Abe in the jungle to the sacred banana mating ground! <laughs> and so George and Magnolia carry the jungle's last chance for survival to the sacred banana mating ground. George. Okay, bananas, make banana babies. Go! Try moving them closer. Duh, of course. We can't do it if we watch. <laughs> Double duh, this'll never work unless we set the mood. Much better. Wait, George, forget something. In case Santa hungry after deliver banana babies. George, Santa doesn't ex um doesn't love anything more than cookies. Hurry, make more bananas. You two want to play hardball? We can play hardball. Fire, George! Lightning always makes stuff work. <laughs> Roasty bananas. George, hold up eight monsters. Magnolia save bananas, okay? Hmm. George need to look good for final sacrifice. What are you doing? Uh, uh. Ah! This is all because we wasted precious natural resources! Me sorry, eat too many bananas! <laughs> and now you've learned your lesson. Oh, oh, oh wait. Um, uh, hold on, I've got this. Uh, right, lesson learned. What? Apes not monster? <laughs> Get out! You pretended you were killer apes to prove a point? Did you really think we'd let you eat all our bananas? We saw you were getting greedy. So we held an emergency meeting to figure out what to do. We came up with a few schemes to stop you. Some thought we should cut you off immediately. But then we had a better idea. We implemented Operation Save All the Delicious Yummy Bananas from the Bad Bad People so we can eat them ourselves. Apes are terrible with code names. So you tore up an entire jungle to make a point about preserving part of the jungle? Sure, it sounds bad when you say it that way, but we had to be convincing. They were eating all our bananas. Come on, our bananas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, we learned our lesson, but you were the real monsters here. Come on, George, let's go. There's a whole jungle of things still to taste. George no want taste yucky jungle things. George stay here and... Lick this slug. Ah! 
<laughs> what? It's a good idea. Nature. It's soothing, beautiful, even smells pretty nice. But beneath all that fancy business, there's power. A thunderous waterfall can wear down solid rock. Powerful winds can bend the mightiest trees. The fury of lava can scorch the landscape and heat water so ducks can have a nice warm bath. Did I mention the wind? What I'm trying to say is nothing can stop nature. Something stopping nature. That's overly dramatic, but also correct. Big Little River is down to a trickle. It's an ecological disaster. George, fix! Clear liquid plug up river! That's the water, George. <laughs> no time for jokes, ape. George, let me explain. River made of water? Same as lakes? Yes, <laughs> and rain, and ice, even snow. They're all water. Stop! Ape, make George dizzy. Oh, I wow. think we found the problem. <gasps> Those guys make log house! How stop water? Mystery solved! New mystery. Who are those guys? They're weavers. They're an invasive species. What? An invasive species is an animal that doesn't belong here. It all starts way up here in Canada, where, otherwise known as Castor Canadensis, beavers are not normally found in tropical climates. Responsible for the invention of the telephone and the handheld blender, beavers are nothing if not inventive. That's where we get artificial strawberry flavor from. So you have to get rid of them before they ruin the jungle forever. Hey. George Wick, totally listen to science talk. Get rid of beavers right now. Oh. Me, George, king of jungle. You beavers have king, queen, maybe super beaver? What are you, squirrels? Get back to work. Name's three, two. Huh? Beavers got two teeth that stick out. Okay. I got three. So that's my name. And why I'm in charge. Oh. It's a system. What do you want? George, welcome you to jungle. Now leave jungle. Log house, stop river. Make big puddle on other side. Flood monkey baseball field. Beavers must go. No belonging jungle. Not natural. <laughs> Not natural? Take a look in the mirror, bub. You're human. You don't belong in a jungle, neither. George, human? Reality can take many forms. A sunbeam, a bolt of lightning, or a giant hammer that clobbers you in the jaw. That's just a metaphor, of course. What did you think you were? George think he was a George. Kind of like ape, sloth, lemur, banana thing. And one day, Lady George show up. And George and Lady George make baby George. Then we all return to home planet. You know what's funny? Until this very moment, I thought I knew what crazy was. Ape, no, George, human? Well, of course I did. And you kept it a secret? It wasn't a secret. He has thumbs and everything. After I found you in the orphan storm, we knew right away that you were human and that your diaper smelled really bad. At first, you tried to be an ape. That didn't work out. Neither did being a bird. But soon you found your own identity and became king of the jungle. And the jungle needs its king to stop those beavers. But George, human now. If beavers no belong in jungle, neither does human George. Ha! Are you kidding? We humans go wherever we want, do whatever we want, take whatever we want. We rule the planet, see? What you gonna do, huh? Cry? Cry like a big sad crying ape, huh? Huh? Stop, stop, stop it. I'll put you in the circus. <laughs> Leave me alone. Magnolia's annoying, but also right. You just need to discover what it means to be human. Then you'll understand why you belong here as king of the jungle. But how George learned to be human, ape? How? If only we knew a human who could teach you. Hmm? Forget it. I'm not. Now, you two, be human. 
Okay, first thing you gotta learn, George, is that we humans are crazy smart. We think. Animals just do stuff or whatever. See? I'd never do that, because I use my brain. Ah, here's a perfect example. I'm thinking what that crocodile could want. Hmm. Fum. It probably just wants a kiss or something, so I think it's harmless. Ta-da! Uh... And we humans are never wrong. <laughs> ah! That. You throw a good crocodile. The witch doctor is human. At least I think he is. Maybe he can help. Pressure! I have banished the evil shark from your lawn. A him. Mm -mm. Elephants make the best BLTs in the jungle. Witch Doctor! Look out! <laughs> Shark monkey fit? What? Let Abernathy go. <laughs> yeah, well, next time, don't miss your cue. Oh, phew. Hey, elephants! It's okay! No shark! Just weird monkey! I tricked them. But. Why humans trick animals? Duh, for a bag of sandwiches. <laughs> Wait! George not learned enough yet! <sighs> you did the right thing, George. Cheer up! Look! I'm the shark monkey! Wait, I'm not. It's a hat! It's just a hat! <laughs> There's only one more human who might be able to help. George scared. Desperate times call for desperate... Ah! Wait, we need your help. George not know how to be human. Ah! Ursula teach George? <laughs> Only one thing you need to know. This was a terrible idea. Ah! Hey? Being human mean being scary. All animal afraid of Ursula. Hey, wake up, babe. Good. Now Ursula can scare him again later. <laughs> I saw the other side. Okay. If George have to be human, then human have George to be. What? <laughs> this is beaver country now. Hey, beaver teeth. George know himself now. Beavers in big human trouble. Oh, really? And what are you gonna do, human? George, use human thinky brain. <laughs> I ain't got all day, bub. Huh? Okay. Then George, use human tricky trick. Look, big monster behind you. Mm, nah. Fine. Then George, use human scary face. Use your what? <laughs> Like I said before, humans don't belong in the jungle! And you are one terrible human! Beaver right. George no good at thinking, no good being tricky, no good being scary. George bad human. Who saved Magnolia, stopped the witch doctor from lying, and brought me back from the afterlife. You may be a terrible human, but you're a great George. And this is where you belong. <laughs> Don't feel bad, you're lost. We chewed out trees and build awesome stuff. It's our thing. Chew trees? No, <laughs> those logs. Buddy, logs are trees. Logs are trees? George bash into trees all the time. Human George can't get rid of beavers, but George George can bash down log tree piles. How? There aren't any trees left to swing from. There be one. The tallest tree of all, tree known to ages as Tim. What's 
he doing? He's being himself. He's being George. Which one of you jokers left the tallest tree in the jungle? Huh? Ah, figures. that his nature was not a human nature. It was his own. Talky Skyboy's right. George lousy human. But George, good George. And all it took was the jungle to be clear-cut and flooded. Maybe you wrecked a dam, but you made an enemy. An enemy with three teeth! You can be George enemy. You can be whatever you want. For napping, when suddenly there came a tapping. George, George, George! I didn't do it! I didn't do it! No! <laughs> that rhino's eating Shep's food. That's not Shep's. That's George's bag of chunka munch. Bad rhino. <laughs> You want food, you go get your own! Get out! Uh, uh, too late for puppy eyes. <laughs> What's with George? Last night he had to get tough with a rhino. I think it bothered him. Oh, George was too tough on him. He was just being a hungry widow rhino. Oh, please. That rhino got just what he deserved. George? George! Rhino! Rhino! <gasps> ah! Rhino, talk to me! Oh, what have I done? What have I done? You wait right here! George is sorry. Here, eat. Eat. George, are you sure that's the same rhino? George will never forget that sad look in what used to be his eyes. <laughs> uh, why don't we take him to my dad and see if he can do something uh, witch doctory? <gasps> you hear that, little buddy? George gonna fix you up. Even if we can bring these bones back to life, I mean, should we? It's tampering with the laws of nature. Stop! Oh, Here you go, Riney. <gasps> back away from the patient! It is hard enough to try and speed read the Forbidden Scroll of Forbidden Knowledge. Mata, mata. Mata, mata, mata. Mata, mata. Hmm, what's this? Huh? Mm, best lightning in a bottle. Very hard to catch. Ooh, how's it taste? <laughs> George! <laughs> no, George! <laughs>
Ancient forbidden practice mean anything to kids today. But, Daddy, all the other witch doctors' kids get to bring dead corpses back to life. I have told you, zombies are a scientific impossibility. Uh, I don't know what you're all worried about. Forbidden sunscreen. Oh, here we go. Forbidden zombies. Boogity, boogity. Hey, it's forbidden. You mind? Look, I'm sure George has this whole thing under control, right? Yep. Uh-huh. Taken care of. <laughs> what the? You girls hide. I'm gonna follow George to see what he's after. What is it, George? <laughs> Okay, that's just plain. What's taking him so long? I think we'll be safe in here. You'd have to be a zombie to eat these. Ooh, company! I'll get the door! Oh, yeah! Oh, don't worry. It's just Tucky. Be a zombie to like that stuff.
The jungle at night is a vast, dark, scary place. The invisible spiders above. Where? <gasps> the undetectable serpents below. And in the middle, the possibility of stepping in something. You don't know what it is. Ah, oh, great. And on the third night, he heard the ghostly knocking again. But as he reached for the door handle... I can't take it! It stopped. <sighs> but then on the fourth night... Not the fourth night. The moon was full and the wind was howling. <sighs> <sighs> Again he heard the knocking. He reached for the door handle. He got closer. Um. Ursula, can I talk to you? Oh, the suspense! I didn't know you were gonna tell scary stories. Ooh, this is a good one, too. But George can't handle it. Normally, nothing scares him, but a scary story is something he's really afraid of, and it makes him impossible to live with. Well, uh, no drinkable blood in here. <laughs> no, no, sir. Please, for the sake of my sanity, change the ending to something unscary. <laughs> then what happened? No, don't tell me. Please tell me. No, don't. Wait. George just has to get a flashlight, a baseball bat, a diaper, a bullet to bite on, and another s'more. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He opened the door. Yeah. And behind the door. Yeah. Standing there was... 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 Uh, <laughs> That's right. Behind the door, there was nothing at all. The end. <laughs> Funny, huh? And not scary. Huh. Nothing. Nothing. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> nothing? <laughs> Good thing I don't enjoy sleeping. I better get ready for the pot banging and the head sitting and the. Huh? Who are you? Mr. Jungle's head of security. What's your business in the treehouse, sir? I live here. Just a sec. What? It's Eddie. I got an ape down here. Name? Ape. Says his name's Ape. Says he lives here. Is he scary? No, I wouldn't say scary exactly, more furry. George, let me in. Here's that ape. If he pulls anything, let me know, and I'll be back up here with the boys. Or he can blink an eye. George, it's me. Prove it. What color are our dishes? Filthy food color with globs of spaghetti. Oh, you're good. What poster does George have hanging over his hammock? A framed enlargement of the cover of Mantler Comics, issue one. Uh -huh, uh -huh. See, George just changed it. What number am I thinking of? 
How am I supposed to know that? Quit stalling! Five! You always think of five. <gasps> All right, last question. What's behind you? Nothing. Oops. <laughs> Nothing! <laughs> eh? Oh. Why are you sleeping out here? Remember that thing I said about George becoming impossible to live with? He's too afraid to let me in the treehouse. What's he afraid of? Nothing. <laughs> then what's his problem? No, he's literally afraid of nothing, and there's nothing everywhere. Oh, that's ridiculous. Tell George I think he's being ridiculous. I'm sure that'll help. Hi. Hi. Two pieces of ID, please. Ow! I'll need this for DNA testing. Ain't see anything outside? No, nothing. I mean... George knew it. Nothing's out there waiting for me. George, there's nothing to be afraid of. That's what I've been saying. Look, just because Ursula's story ended with that word, there's no reason to be afraid of that word. Go to sleep. Not until Ape checks the closet. What does Ape see? A large hungry monster wearing a bib holding a knife and fork. Oh! Oh, well, better than nothing. Well, good night. George, I'm gonna be outside doing some gardening. Oh. George, what's this in my gloves? Oh, uh, there was nothing inside them, so I filled them with gravy. Uh, at least it's something, huh? George, where are you? I'm in the bathroom! Now our bathroom is a steel safety chamber. If anything goes wrong, just pull the evacuation switch. Isn't this a bit extreme? No, it's waterproof and fireproof. Nothing can get in and nothing can get out. <gasps> nothing can get out! <laughs> Normally, George isn't afraid of anything. But now, because of that story, he's completely afraid of nothing. I've got an idea. I I tell him the story again, but change that nothing at the door to something so ridiculous George would never see it. What? I know stuff. Okay, it has to be something that George will never find in the jungle in a million years. How's about something from one of them stupid gift catalogs? Like a, a jewel-encrusted brass pickle. <clears throat> it's just something I've always kind of wanted. I checked the perimeter, boss. There's no nothing anywhere. Hey! Jewel-encrusted brass pickle. Ha! Well, that'd be a great thing to have. I've never seen one in the jungle. Georgia of the jungle. Big tree house, middle of jungle. Tookie, tookie! Tookie, tookie! Good, tookie. Uh, deliver this for George. <laughs> Bot! Suspicious hairy biped at six o'clock. George, glad I caught you. That story of Ursula's the other night? Well, she got the ending wrong. But if nothing wasn't behind the door, then... <gasps> Where was it? She's going to tell it again with the right ending tonight. <sighs> Back off, Weasel. And he opened the door, and behind it was... A jewel-encrusted brass pickle! Pickle! That's impossible! Aw, oh, come on. You can't be afraid now. What are the chances a jewel-encrusted pickle would show up in the jungle? <laughs> George, mail. Ooh, the new 80 cent banana stand. <laughs> oh, uh, hi, George. There's a. <laughs> George? 
If that's a brass jewel encrusted pickle, George's not here. George, you can't hide in there forever. <laughs> that's what she thinks. Can't open her. Check. Flashlight. Batteries. self inflating getaway boat. Check, check, and check. <laughs> I've got an idea. How about I just tell George the truth? For some reason, that scares me more than the pickle. The truth about the campfire story. No twist, no spin. Maybe if George hears how silly the real ending is, he'll get over this for good. Eight pair of socks, two thermal. George? Yes? I have a confession. I made up those endings because Ape told me to. Don't drag me into this. Well, you did. I'm gonna tell you what's really behind the door in the story. Not a pickle? No, and it's not nothing. Not a pickle holding nothing? Nope. You're gonna laugh, it's so out there. So the guy opens the door and standing outside... Yeah? ...is a vampire zombie weasel! Zombie <laughs> weasel <laughs> near the funniest thing. Oh no. Two pairs of wax fangs in case we're here till Halloween? Shit. George, George, George of the jungle, strong as he can be. Watch out for that tree! George, George, George of the jungle lives a life that's free. Watch out for that tree! When he gets in a scrape, he makes his escape with the help of his friend. An ape named Ape, then away he will schlep on his elephant Shep, Magnolia, and Ursula stay in step. George, George, George of the jungle, friend to you and me! It's a terrible jungle dilemma. Even George can't be in two places at once. And sometimes, harsh decisions must be made. What a move! A double save! Holy bananas! That's worse! Hey, George getting good at this. When you have a toothache like George, the only solution is to do it. Oh, you say that about everything. No, I don't. My picture won't stay on the wall. Drip. Oh, my basketball's flat. Drip. My tummy hurts. Drip. I'm not getting into this with you. I've got a jungle king to drill. Okay, George already handled it. How? There's millions of them! <laughs> My word, I believe that was a strike. <laughs> yeah, no biggie. George on roll. <laughs> of milk. I can't have my nightly Earl Grey without milk. It would be barbaric. No problemo. George, get more. George, no. <laughs> Remember what happened the last time you went for milk? George forget milk, but <clears throat> poor little Wolverine lost in jungle. And the time before that? 
George forget milk, but find fuzzy pointy things all alone in jungle. And the time before the time before that. George forget milk, but baby fire all alone. George like to help. That's all well and good, but you always forget the milk. This time for sure, George on roll. Yeah, George back. George get milk. <laughs> George, what happened? George get milk. It's been two years. Uh. George get a little lost on his way home. You got a little bit... Uh... George make tea. You'll feel better. <laughs> oh, uh... Oops. That's before two years ago. George take back and get new one. No! Just pull the milk! Ape okay? No, not okay. I feel amazing. It's like I'm one with the universe. This overaged milk has developed some unusual properties. You must try some. No, thank you. No, no. George, fine. But why settle for fine when you can be incredible? Try it! Uh, George, rather not. Uh, uh. Hey, you've got to. George! Where have you been? The jungle's out of control! <laughs> Sets have babies since George gone. Jungle bananas. No worry, George fixed jungle. Now, seem pretty messy. It's hopeless. How can you? What was that? Because it's a. I know, right? <laughs> Ursula, no want! <laughs> Ursula, extra dangerous! Everything go better with milk! But how milk do that? Magnolia no science reason? Science? Who needs science when you've got milk? Your turn, George. Uh, George, pass. <laughs> Someone must need help. Uh, somewhere. What with him? Who cares? As long as we have the milk. <laughs> must be something for George to do. There you go. No charge. Remember, kids, after every meal. What was once a jungle ruled by tooth and claw is now a dreamland of peace, love, and understanding. Jungle's so happy, nobody need help from George. What do now? Story of George of Jungle by George of Jungle. One day, jungle go happy. The end. Oh, now what George do? <laughs> What? Oh, you're asking me. <laughs> Just follow your bliss, bro. Uh, Sky Boys try milk too? Happy jungle boring. 
George wish he never bring milk from store. Bad George, if Jungle happy, George should be happy. You smile, you. Huh? Cheese? George never buy cheese. Where cheese come from? Milk do this. <gasps> Friends drink milk. <gasps> Friends in big cheesy trouble! The milk is good, the milk is great, the milk is fast, it's best for me. The milk is good, the milk is great. No! Milk not great! Not even good! We'll turn you to cheese! My ears here, right? This is sacrilege! George has gone mad! Mad, I tell you! Now, George, all you have to do is stop all this crazy talk and have some milk. <laughs> Why don't you stop? Stop moving! No, uh, George, no drinking. Let's take milk back to store and buy here instead. <sighs> Sadly, George leaves us no choice. Get him! <laughs> oh, music. <laughs> <laughs> some silly cheese story and take away our precious, precious milk. But there's not much time left to save Jungle. Even if your story was true, how would you do that? Hmm? Like this. Hey, milk, you fix everyone now or else. Fine, you ask for it. Good, now you're one of us. Why didn't you just drink it before? Weird. Not a cloud in sight. George lactose intolerant. Uh -oh. Milk always make tummy very angry. But maybe that what jungle need right now. <gasps> Great apes! It's true! Found the antidote. He is antidote. <laughs> no cry over exploded bad milk cape. I'm crying over the cure. Thank you, George. You saved us. No problemo. Now, still need new milk. George, no! Don't worry, Abe. George on roll, remember? <sighs> Everybody knows that George is king of the jungle, master of all he surveys. That's right, George. Show that lizard how we treat dinosaurs in our jungle. We suplex them! But who's at the bottom of nature's grand hierarchy? Few creatures inspire as much derision as the ring-tailed leaf licker. <laughs> hey, maybe it's the fungus that grows between rhino toes. Or could it be someone else? 124, 125, 125! Oh, seriously? Close, but even this little guy's three rungs up from Magnolia. Another new parasite. Fantastic! I'll call you, um, Midgley Jr. <laughs> Einstein, Curry, Copernicus, no making fun of the new kid. Oh, great, breakfast time. Yeah! Need food to make new blood. Ah, my face! My face! Sometimes I hate this place! Okay, get a hold of yourself, Magnolia. It's... it's not so bad. George! Where are you? No worry. 
Hey, George, save you! <laughs> Sorry, rain check! You're leaving? Why are you leaving? That is the distress call of the hook-billed hiccup bird. So? It's a World Animal Council endangered species, which means it's a priority rescue. If George doesn't rescue endangered species, the World Animal Council gets very, very upset. There. All safe, Hiccup Birdie. <laughs> Hi! Now, where were we? Oh, yes. Sorry, Magnolia need new place to sleep now. I need a new place? I'll show that feathered squatter some sweet science. Magnolia? Bird endangered. That mean he get first choice of home. <laughs> All under control. You can't be serious. Endangered species, huh? Two can play at that game. And we'll see who gets the last hiccup. Magnolia set to work. Years of creatively filling out grant applications would finally pay off. to shave two seconds off the next rescue, okay? Huh. We received a memo this morning saying you had rescue priority. Clearly it was a mistake. Mistake this, Furface! I'm officially an endangered species! Magnolius Terrificus? Please, George. We're leaving. You can't! I'm the last of my species! My kind used to live in Happy Science Valley. We frolicked with our hypotheses and experiments until one sad day, Grant Money Lake just dried up. We were devastated and lost hope. And then we all got dysentery or something. You're a woman in your 20s with a science major and a liberal arts minor. You're hardly endangered. Magnolia's story, so sad. Magnolia hungry? Want back rub? Anything Magnolia need, just tell George. I'll take it. But this is where George and I live. <sighs> Magnolia's Terrificus needs proper shelter. The slightest sniffle could spell our doom. You can forget that. <clears throat> <laughs> no, no worry, Magnolia Terrificus. George and Ape find new place to live. <laughs> She'd better feel awfully guilty right now. Woohoo! Look at me! Ouch! Oh! Okay. Aha! Gotcha! <laughs> you don't want to do that! <laughs> Magnolia okay? No, I'm not okay. Ursula's is the only natural predator of Magnolia's Terrificus, so do something about it! Magnolia, no worry. We take Ursula to Exile Island. You do what? Yes, Exile Island. It's the locked, forgotten attic of the jungle. A place to hide all of nature's mistakes. <laughs>
This has gone far enough. I'm just getting started, baby. Magnolia, think of the jungle species that are actually endangered, like the no-legged zebra. How do you think the chocolate elephants feel? Think of all the animals we're losing while George is busy rescuing you. Oh, I'm sorry. Was that the part where I'm suddenly supposed to start caring? Look, Magnolia, I know life in the jungle can be hard for you. Hard? Hard? You have no idea what my life is like. I was eaten three times yesterday. Three! By the same snake! Don't put your luck! This certificate makes everything all better. <laughs> it's my ticket to the first class section of the jungle. That's it! Uh, give that to me! Nah, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I love this place! <sighs> she leaves me no choice. A word? <laughs> ah, another beautiful. <gasps> Magnolia. Oh, sorry, I mean Magnolia's Terrificus. Welcome to your new World Animal Council Sanctuary. Let me out! I'm afraid we can't do that. Magnolia delicate, so Magnolia put in cage for protection. What's that? Why, it's breakfast! No more ice cream for you. Just a scientific blend of dry seaweed and weak old graham crackers. <laughs> no worry, Magnolia. It tastes good. <laughs> 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 ah, exercise time. <laughs> so much right now! They can't keep me locked up! Aw, <laughs> oh, snake pants! sleep it off. Besides, I think she's in a very happy place. George, George of the jungle, strong as he can be. Watch out for that tree! George, George, George of the jungle, lives a life that's free. Watch out for that tree! When he gets in the scrape, he makes his escape with the help of his friend. And ain't ding ding, then away he'll schlep on his elephant chef. Magnolia and Ursula stay in step. Whoa. George, George, George of the jungle, friends are you and me! This is a bad idea! Even 
the narrator scared of this place? Hello, narrator? See? We don't have a choice. I'm losing years off my life every minute we're here. Also, bones? Hello! And I'm pretty sure that one's from a dinosaur. <laughs> George scared too, but this what friends do. Aha. We close. No, no, no. She doesn't leave a footprint unless she wants to leave a footprint. Uh, it's a... trap. <sighs> no, it's okay. a better hunter than you, Tiger. It takes a big man to admit when he's outranked, but that woman beast is off the charts. By the way, that's you, down there, way at the bottom. Ooh, second place feels like a, a dirty shirt stained with failure, but I won't be wearing that shirt for long. What are you gonna do, Tiger? I'm gonna put you in terrible, terrible danger. Joy Driver and Please, please, please be on vacation. Yuri takes no vacations. Do you see the beast? Has she hurt you yet? No. Well, not yet. <laughs> but she ate all the meat? Good. Why good? Because that means you're next. So many teeth. <laughs> run, man, run. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Good. Fear will lend you speed. Welcome, Ghost Walker. <laughs> Gaze into my eyes and let the sacred fury transference ceremony begin! What happened? I must have eaten too many lemurs last night or something. Breakfast on legs. My favorite. Hey, I said... You're supposed to run in terror so I can hunt you down and eat... I don't understand. Hey, that was a complete sentence. So was that. I never talk in complete sentences. What are you looking at, pussycat? <laughs> uh oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh. Okay, Herman, you all done. Next! Patricia, long time. So, how new boyfriend? Ah! Wait, I need your. Ah! 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 No, no, no. Ah! 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 Help? Stop! I'm not going to hurt you. Yet. Did you just... Speak good word sentence like George does? Ursula, I've never seen you so... Not scary! Stop! Stop that, please! See? Old Ursula eat George's arm by now! And she'd certainly never say please! What happened? <laughs> Tiger stole my jungle spirit. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. Man alive! Oh, the fury! I can barely contain it! I don't like it, Tiger. <laughs> Too bad, because I love it! 
Her ferocity courses through my blood veins. Combined with my years of hunting experience, I'll be the ultimate predator! <laughs> There's no downside to this. I'm unstoppable! But, but Tiger... Uh... Hey! Didn't you hear me? Tiger stole my meanness! Help me get it back! Yeah, George promised to help, but let's clean out Shep's trunk first. Ervin's really our nature's vacuum cleaner. No! You'll help me now! <laughs> ah, pickles! <laughs> you can't bully us anymore. Fine. I'll make someone else help me. Oh, hey. That where Tookie Tookie be all this time. <laughs> this had better work. Uh, Ursula. That's weird. Usually I'm more like... Ow! Wait, you're not scary anymore. Tiger stole my animal rage. Now help me get it back or I'll... <laughs> First, no. Second, I'm trying to get all these fear stains out of my lab coats. Hmm. I wonder how those got there, huh? Huh. Who used to love scaring the sweat out of me, huh? Huh? Help me right now or else... You sound like a broken coffee grinder. Fine. I'll do it myself. Okay, bye. Don't let the door tree hit your not-so-scary butt on the way out. Great. Now what am I going to wear to the science ball next week? I don't need them. And when I get my rage back, oh boy, they're going to get it. All of it. <laughs> Who is that? Who said that? Why am I shivering when I'm not cold? Why does my stomach feel like it's in knots? Why are my knees shaking? And what's with this cold sweat? Wait, is this what fear feels like? I don't like it. I don't like it at all. <laughs> so this is what being George or Magnolia or Ape feels like. Still hungry! Oh crap! Please, please don't eat me! Fire in the hole! <laughs> Sometimes I really hate it here. Whew. New tiger, extra scary. He's terrorizing the entire jungle. Like I used to. Why didn't you tell me being hunted and bullied and scared all the time was so terrible? Our screaming didn't give it away. Then why did you save me? Um... Good question. Oh, not saved yet. <laughs> you have to help me. Tiger's gone full barrel. Yeah, we know. Okay, small pink man. How we take fury out of Tiger? And give it back to me. <laughs> Let's just save the jungle first, Ursula. Tiger used a magic sweat lodge to steal Ursula's natural fury. Pfft, that's not even a thing. <laughs> I'll provide the sweat. Well, I suppose it'll do. Now what? We lure Tiger inside and... <laughs> Tiger Sala smells stupid plan. Now Tiger Sala hunts stupid plan makers. No! We have to stand up to him. That's how you... <laughs> Oh, my God. 
No one bullies friends except for Ursula! Tiger, you're back! Oh, right. My pride was my downfall. The pain is magnificent! No, it's not! No, it's not! It seems like the horrible feral terrifying magic was in Ursula all along. We go now, before she finished with them. Good idea. She'll still be hungry. Sorry, I'm here, I'm here. <laughs> I, I got caught in traffic. Did I miss anything? Oh, it's over? Behold our hero, George, king of the jungle, and a fo- <laughs> huh? What? George, what's the matter? <laughs> Mama Beep Baby loves with Wormy. Beep, 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 beep. What's gotten into you? Oh, George feel like he been through ringer. Crying at the drop of a hat all day will do that to you. George, not moving again until someone gave George foot massage. You're acting strange today. Is something up? Oh, yeah? Maybe something up with a George! Hey, George hungry. Maybe you should relax. Get a good night's sleep. No, 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 no. George just needs snacks. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> Lloyd Glotz, no fit right! George, your stomach! Ah! No look at George! No look! Strange cravings, hyper-emotionality, aches and pains, and of course, that. That George Glotz! Don't interrupt me when I'm poking, son. Here, lick this. You don't think... Sweet! Got us some broccoli. Ape, it's time! Time for what? <laughs> Time to drink plenty of water, take lots of vitamins, and let nature take its course. Good luck! Hmm. Bugs think he's not telling whole story. You're worrying for nothing. Come on, Jungle King. Let's get you that foot massage. George has been on feet all day. Ah! What the? Hey! <laughs> Came out of George. George, this is something all Jungle Kings go through at some point in their reign. George not understand. Laying an egg is uh, perfectly natural. No, no. Uh, sometimes our bodies go through changes. Uh, how to explain? George scared. <clears throat> Let me help. Oh, about time. George, laying an egg is something every Jungle King does. There's little George inside? No, <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. It's going to be a magical Hoopa Hoopa bird. Centuries ago, Hoopa Hoopa birds were jungle enemy number one. They were unstoppable. Until an ancient jungle king discovered their secret. They really, really, like really don't like laying eggs. A deal was struck. The birds agreed to stop their jungly tongue terror. In return, each jungle king would lay one hoopa hoopa egg and teach the hatchling to be king and just. Ah, look, who are we kidding? To teach them to stop licking everything. Seriously, it's gross. George, call you Benedict. Or poached, or scrambly. George, no, over easy. Benedict it is. George, take good care of the egg until it hatches. But what happened to Jungle while George eggy daddy? Well, I'm glad you asked. Don't touch me with your paws. <laughs> Magnolia. While you're on hoop paternity leave, Magnolia and Ursula will act as joint jungle team. You smell like dumb. Whoa! Yep, everything will be just fine. Yeah, George, sure nothing go wrong. 
Yeah. Ah. Oh, way! What a crazy adventure! Almost done reprogramming! Wait, George wants crazy adventure. Oh. <laughs> One jungle kraken's bad enough. What three? Oh, oh, George, help! <laughs> George need to be Eggy Daddy. It's a very important job, George. Nobody wants a giant hoopa hoopa bird growing up without the right guidance and run away, elephant train! Must have been panicked by the Robodactyls and the Krakens. Come on! Sir Isaac of Newton! These elephants are made out of chocolate! <laughs> George won't go! George misadventures! <laughs> Back in minute, okay, Egg? George, promise. <laughs> Elephant's delicious. <laughs> oh, central lateral incisor. Ready for your towel? Most yummy rescue ever. George, where's Benedict? Cuspid, do you realize what this is? <gasps> the best breakfast ever? No! Don't you know your jungle history? It's a hoopa hoopa egg. And with the help of my growth acceleration beam, it will soon be a full grown hoopa hoopa bird. I'm going to teach it every evil trick I know. It's going to be so laser. What? Just trying it out. It's got to be here somewhere. No! That big. Benedict! Benedict can't hear you, George. <laughs> oh, we found your egg. <laughs> Correction! I found your egg, and this wonderful creature was inside! Benedict grow up so fast. Yes! And look what I taught him to do! <laughs> Let the reign of tonguey terror begin! Everybody okay? Yeah, besides being grossed out, George Mean. How do you stop something so wet? Ursula Sticky! Oh, oh, oh. Ah. Ah. Enjoying the tongue apocalypse? Why can't you just use your claws? Ew! No, George, take tongue for friends. Benedict's faults as eggy son, or George's faults as eggy daddy. What are you waiting for? Lick him! Lick him now! Benedict what sandwich? No? Okay. Time to warm Eggy up. Who's Eggy Daddy? Who's Eggy Daddy? Eggy Daddy is George! George, he remembers you. George just glad he not used talk. Oh, never mind. What are you doing? I am your father. Remember what I taught you. Yes. Yes. Feel the evil. Feel it. Evil is fun, isn't it? Isn't it? No. Benedict must be good bird. Must use tongue to help, not to destroy. <laughs> Look at him. He obviously. See, Benedict won't be good. Yeah. <laughs> Shows you have to... But what, George? I don't think he likes it when his two dads argue. Benedict, tell George in Chicago what makes Benedict happy. 
And do you, Dr. Stewart, Pamela Chicago, take George, King of the Jungle, as your jungly wedded husband? What? This is ridiculous. Not as ridiculous as Pamela. <laughs> oh, sure. Go for the low-hanging fruit. <laughs> okay, okay. I do. I do. One month of wedded bliss later. George! What did I tell you about picking up after yourself? George and Chicago have conversation already. George, go out and earn bananas Well, I know. It's just I could use a break. It's been weeks since I've been able to do some real mad science. You're hungry again? George, it's your turn to feed. <laughs> Sorry, George must patrol. Oh, no, you don't. You're always on patrol. It's like you don't want to spend time with me anymore. What am I saying? I want my life back. George, know only one way. Chicago and George raise Benedict properly. <laughs> George loved Benedict, too. Bye, Benedict! Bye! <sighs> okay, Chicago. Go back to lab now, and George, go back to jungle. <laughs> Chicago, what wrong? I think we made good parents. George thinks so, too. And if you tell anyone I said that, I'll destroy you! Oh, just like our honeymoon. <laughs>